I'm Cal Mack, and I have the honour to be joined by a legend, Tuffers himself, Phil Tufnell. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm very well and enjoying the show. It's great. So, first question is quite a unique one. We all know that you were on Question of Sport, facing Matt Dawson, different teams. But imagine you and Matt were going to face off against each other in a race. What car would you choose that could beat Matt? Oh, wow. I don't know. How about a McLaren? A McLaren. Why, yeah. why a McLaren? Why do you think that could be well, the, the, the edge? I reckon, I reckon the clue's slightly in the name. <laughs> I like the name McLaren. You know what I mean? They're a lovely car, one of my favourite cars. I do like my cars, but... Um, you said your favourite car. I, w- I want to know what your favourite car is. Well, I'll tell you something. Um, it's interesting walking around here. I've loved the classic cars. I don't know yeah. if it's because I might be getting a little bit older, looking for a bit of nostalgia. I'm not sure, but there's a lovely Capri down there, a 2.8 uh, Capri. Um, who the chaps had it from, uh, you know, from new, I think. about He said he has about 28, 30 years, had it from new. It's done about 18,000 miles, absolutely mint. Uh, I got in that and had a little look at it. And the, uh, as you say, the nostalgia just came flooding back. And there's a beautiful um, M5 as well, yeah. BMW, absolute beautiful. So I'm loving those uh, and the new cars. Well, I've got myself a nice Porsche GTS McCann, which is very nice, really good all-rounder. Yeah, so, yeah, love me car. Cars, but uh, yeah, I might just be going down the old classic car route, you know. But you know, I loved it when you said classic cars because do you think it's important the fact that they are showcasing classic cars, not just the up to date cars? So, you know, people that might not have seen these cars, might not have been around, might find them interesting. Absolutely. I mean, I think they are very, very interesting. I mean, it's lovely to see all the new shiny ones and everything and all the buttons to press. I love that as well. But uh, yeah, there's something about that that I, I, I really enjoy looking at. So, what would you say, Phil, is the best car you ever bought and the best memory you had of driving that car? I bought myself a BMW M3 with uh, my first sort of paycheck when I, second hand obviously, uh, when I went on my first England tour and I'd always loved them. Silver it was, it was magnificent and, and fast as well. I mean, that could shift. Um, yeah, so I uh, was very proud of that. That was one of my cars I'd been sort of like aspiring to. And then, you know, went down there uh, and uh, loved every minute of it. It was great. That's brilliant. So what would you say? I mean, you've had so many highlights uh, in your cricket career. But what would you say the best memory uh, you've had playing in an England shirt representing our great nation? Well, I'm uh, very lucky to have had a few sort of like personally uh, good performances, you know, bowled out Australia and the West Indies. But during that West Indies uh, test match at the Oval, I got another hero of mine out, Sir Viv Richards. I know it's going back in the day a little bit, but the master blaster, seen him sort of sitting on the sofa when I was a boy and then to go out and then sort of face him and get him out for two, thankfully. I know it was his last test match, so he was getting on a bit, but um, that was probably my best wicket. Did you get the chance to talk to him afterwards and say, I- I'm so sorry, I'm so well, sorry did- for doing that. I really <laughs> loved you. I know, I didn't really appeal actually because I sort of felt a little bit bad, you know what I mean? That was my, my hero I was getting out, but uh, no, he came over and shook me hand after the game. Yeah, probably one of my best moments. You've played with a lot of great players, but is there one that you'd say you love working with the most? Well, as I say, um, another hero of mine, uh, Ian Botham, managed to play sort of like the last sort of 10 or 15 uh, test matches with Sir Ian. Great man, done so much for charity and with his walks and what have you. Another question, uh, captain on a question of sport as well. So, Guys still hang out, go and watch the cricket? Well, yeah, well he's, I, think he's, I think he does a lot of fishing now. <laughs> so he goes off and he's enjoying himself. But uh, yeah, one of my heroes and to be sat in the same dressing room as him and sort of like, you know, feeding all his advice and soaking it all up like a sponge was great. Now, what would you say is a more special moment for you? Was it your test average of 37.68 or being crowned king of the jungle on I'm a Celebrity? Because you faced some, you know, I remember (laughs) I I was actually, I was around quite young at the time when you were on, but I remember Anthony Worrell Thompson was there. That's right. John Fashionu was there. And he came runner up to you, didn't he? Yes, he he did. Um, What would you say was that great situation? Well, um, um, (laughs) well, I'd probably say the cricket, actually. (laughs) You know, (laughs) did a lot of hard work there to represent your country, but not knocking, not knocking king of the jungle. I mean, it was great fun, a great experience. But I mean, when you were facing John Fashnu in that final, as two sportsmen, obviously he was a footballer, you're a yeah. cricketman. Did you feel that kind of sporting edge to really edge him and beat him? Because it's two sporting guys going head to head. Yes, but you don't really get that feeling in the jungle. You're all just hungry. <laughs> Worst thing you ever ate, Phil. Worst well, thing you ever the, ate. The witchetty grubs. Oh. Yeah, felt them wriggle all the way down. Not much fun. 
And finally, what got you into cars in the first place? That that's something I'm quite interested in asking you. I mean, what was what was the sort of is it kind of the first time you saw a car you were quite interested in? Yeah, I just that brought you here. Yeah, I mean, I just love them. You know, there's something about them, isn't there? They're, they're a bit sexy, aren't they? They're kind of shiny and nice, and you kind of feel cool when you're in there. And I think, as you say, you were talking about you know cars that are, are, are what it, it, it's a sense of achievement. You know, you 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 set your goal on something. And I've been talking to the kids here. You know, oh, I love the Lamborghini. Oh, I love the yeah. Range Rovers. And then when you sort of like, you know, you manage to get your head down, make a few quid and then sort of like go and get it, yeah. you feel you give yourself a pat on the back. And it's great an event like this, not just for the motor and industry, but for the country right after COVID. Yes, it's great to see everyone out smiling, all the families here, the kids are enjoying it. So it's, it's great to see everyone well, walking around. Tough as thank you so much. Pleasure, mate.